the shops featured in this video are located in or around Calle Moratin, which is in the southwest region of the Las Letras neighborhood. So cute. <laughs> La Murasanya is a consignment shop that specializes in vintage clothing, remnant of the actors of the 1960s, including shoes, artistic objects, and a bit of old school restored furniture. Everything I'm modeling, I bought, and the prices were very inexpensive and the quality was very good. They also had all sizes, from very small to very large. I don't have much to say about not clothing Madrid. Items were nice but expensive and not that unique, so we didn't buy anything. I didn't find anything I liked except overpriced sunglasses. Andrea found quite a few items she liked though, so to each their own, I guess? The latest location of the Pardo family store is in Plaza de Jesus, Tres. This is described as a Cantabrian style and home concept store. I would classify it as a home good and decor store mainly, but the Pardo family came from Cantabria and they had a, opened up a store there that had a lot of success over 40 years. And they decided to open up a new location in Barrio de las Letras. And this store is gorgeous. Everything inside is stunning and high quality. The prices are reasonable. Everything seemed to be vintage antique, but was brand new. Great music. I especially love the magnifying glasses, velvet chairs, maps, and vintage radios. Ginger and Velvet is located on Calle de Leon 22 with another location on Calle de la Alameda. This shop is really special and one of my favorite shops in the neighborhood. It's rated 4.7 out of 5 stars on Google, but I think it deserves 5 stars. It has a very creative and unique aspect to its jewelry pieces. They're handmade in the workshop in the back of the store and appear expensive, but are actually very affordable with prices ranging between 18 to 100 euros. The jewelry looks like art. I bought a few pieces, including the gold cage ring and earrings that I'm modeling here. Come for the jewelry, stay for the craftsmanship. Here is a video from their website demonstrating how they make the jewelry. like that they had Dr. Bronner soap, so I bought a pricey though. They gave us a bunch of free high quality samples too. We really liked the skin cream samples. So I would say come for the organic makeup and stay for the free samples. In conclusion, here are all the items that I have purchased in boutique shops in the Las Letras neighborhood so far. You have already seen some of these items featured in part one of this five part series. Yes, there are so many boutique shops in this neighborhood that we had to split the video into five parts. We'll wrap up the series by doing a top five video going into depth, explaining why we chose five of the shops as our favorites. This series was made possible by the knowledge and planning of Andrea Summers, a local Las Letras resident. <laughs>